Good morning, everybody. Welcome to retirementinasia.com. Today, I'm going to talk uh, a brief talk about changing money in Asia, especially in Thailand. Now, in Singapore, you don't have any problems. You can change money everywhere and it's safe. Now, in Thailand, you notice as you're walking around, you'll have the odd booth, the small booth that's just propped up uh, against the side of the pavement. Now, I have heard a lot of rumors. Um, some good, some bad about these money booths. Now the exchange rate between a bank and some of these money booths isn't that much different, it's only cents. So if you're only ch changing a couple of hundred dollars, it doesn't make a big uh, difference. But if you're taking, changing thousands of dollars, and then you need to look around for the best exchange rate. But like I say, that's everybody to, to their own where they like it to change money. Now, there was rumors in Wai Hin and in Bangkok and uh, Phuket, uh, especially with the English 50 uh, pound note, the Canadian and American 50 dollar note, and a Euro note, but I'm not sure which one it is with these smooth, small booths. As you go up to the window, and you give them the money, they count the money a couple of times. And what they were doing, they were putting a fake note between you in between your money, and then they were reporting you to the police. And then you're getting a, a big fine for having counterfeit money, you're getting into big trouble. Now, the best way to stop this is when you've got your notes and you're getting up to uh, the window, just before you hand the notes over to your window is get your smartphone out and take a picture take a picture of the serial numbers you see there the first one the second one and the third one now on the UK uh, notes it's a different position but on these notes you can see it it's under the main the Canadian notes it's under the main um, what what uh, the note is worth now as you go up to to the to the window you you put it in front of you at the window you get your smartphone and you take a picture as you're giving them to the the person behind the counter now with a bank or a, a one of the money the bigger money changing shops it's not so important because they tend to be more honest but with the little booth that's just by itself, you need to be very careful. Like I say, I did hear in, in YN that somebody, uh, a British lad, had given £200 uh, and £50 notes. And one of the notes was uh, exchanged for a county fit note. And of course, he had no proof that he wasn't him that gave it him. But it was a well-known fact that this was happening in Asia. Now, the other thing is... If you're using these money changing little booths, is look around who's around. There has been uh, times where people have put the money in the pocket and they've been pickpocketed while they've been putting something else away. It doesn't happen that often, but it does happen. It's not just in Asia, this ha that happens worldwide. So you need to be careful who's around. Now, the other thing is if you're using an ATM for getting money out, don't forget you're going to be charged by the Thailand ATM you can be charged by the country that you're from by the ATM so you need to be careful so if you're using the ATM what I would do let's say if you got $300 limit I'd take all the $300 out save going back a couple of times and only getting small amounts out do the most you can on that day now the other thing is if you go to some of the big malls like if you go in Bangkok and you go to MBK and you go to one of the floors there, floors there, you'll see there's about 10 different money changes there. And what I do is I go around and look at the exchange rate for the best one. Now, like I say, if it's only a couple of hundred dollars or a couple of hundred pounds, really the exchange rate doesn't make that much difference. But if you are changing a couple of thousand pounds, a couple of thousand dollars, and then it can make a difference. So this is when you need to look a bit more better for the the better exchange rates so like you know you could go to one uh, place it's 43.40 40, 
then you go to the next one and it's 43.38 and then you go to a third one and it's 43.43 so you go if you've got a lot of money and you've got no rush you go for the 43.43 so you're getting more cents like I say for a couple of hundred dollars or pounds it makes no difference but for thousands of pounds it does now the other thing is like I say, when you're using the ATM, you've got to look around who's watching you. And what I do is you've got the ATM in front of you, and you've got the place where you put your card in. I pull at that to see if it's loose or to see if it's been stuck on. Now, I don't just do it in Asia. I do it in Europe, and I do it in Canada. Even when I go to Costco to fill up with gas, the first thing I do is hold on to that card reader and pull it. I know some places put a seal on now, but most places don't. So if it's a strange ATM you don't, you don't know about, or you're abroad away from home, always pull on where the card goes into the machine, because they'll come off easy if somebody's just took a device for reading your card. Now, it was in the Daily Mail yesterday that they've got a false front, and it's got a little pinhole by the card reader, and they're recording you putting your PIN number in. So that's another thing you have to be careful of. And the, like I say, and the, and the, the last thing you have to be careful of, who's watching you? Make sure now, um, with this chip, uh, with this um, touch and go, sorry, with this touch and go system now that have, that's coming widely available where you just touch your card against, um, against the payment machine there was an article in one of the press where people are walking around with these pay these pay machines in their hands and they go in and they can read somebody's card if they've got the touch and go so be careful what you do and always look around take no notice if anybody's trying to distract you just ignore them because that's an, another ploy is somebody will come up and start talking to you and there'll be somebody else on your left hand side and they'll either take your card and your money or just take your money so be, this is happening a lot in Europe especially around London uh, this is happening so like you say it's not just Asia you have to be aware of it's every country you go to you've got to make sure that it's a safe place nobody's watching you and there's no scamming machine in the ATMs so, like I say, just be, you know, just, just be wise and you won't have no issues. So, from retirementinasia.com, I hope you enjoyed this, in, 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 this little video. And if you've got any comments or anything else you would like, please add them to the comments below. Also, please click on like and subscribe to our channel. We are trying our best to build each up and we, we, what we're trying to do has released two videos a week, one midweek and one at the weekend. So if there's anything particular you'd like to see or you'd like to know about in one of these coffee ch talks, just let me know and I can get back to you. So that's all for now. So have a great day and uh, see you soon.